It is feeding time. I don't know what Elsa was going to do with this. So before we get started, I do want to mention that this video is going to have dead animals. Specifically, dead rodents. If you are uncomfortable with that, if that's going to upset you, click out of the video now because there's no point in continuing to watch if dead rodents make you uncomfortable because that's literally all this video is going to be and if I see people down in the comments saying oh why did you post something like this like this made me so upset so uncomfortable blah 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 I am NOT going to take responsibility because I told you guys to click out of the video if you did not want to see this I cannot be held accountable for anything okay now that that's done, Strict Galaxy can go away, and we can have some fun. Also, before we start, I do want to mention that Orion has had a bit of a cage upgrade. And by that, I mean I got another thermometer thing and actual substrate. That's pretty much it. I can't afford to <laughs> spend any money on getting him any new logs or rocks or anything like that. I am going to get him some rocks for, like, sunbathing. <laughs> I don't know what else to call it, but I'm going to put some rocks, like, up the wall behind his hide so that he has some space where he can go and bask. And he doesn't have to spend, like, the entire time in his hide. Oh, he's tucked away in the back. He can't see him. I am also going to switch out the light. Um, this kind of light can be very harsh on his eyes. So I'm going to switch it out and I'm going to try a black light. And if that doesn't work as well, I'm going to try a red light and a green light. And we'll see how that works. But I want to try the black light because I think that'll have a cool effect on his scales. Give him some cool little, like fluorescent coloring. We'll see how that works out. Let's get on with feeding him. Now, I realized after I started thawing the mouse that I should have done that on camera so that those of you who want to get a snake can learn how to do it properly. But that can be in a different video. And I do plan on making a ball python care video sometime in the future. Just not right now because he is my first reptile and I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just doing the best with what I have. But I will make a care video at some point in the future. I just, I want to have more experience with my animal and get to know like his behaviors and all that before I start telling other people how to take care of their animals, if that makes sense. So keep your eyes open because that will be a thing sometime in the future. Now, if you're wondering what the point of the shot glass was, that was just to weigh down the baggie so that the whole mouse was like submerged. Um, I won't put that in the sink yet because I don't know if this is thawed properly. I hope it is. I should have used my other camera. I'm using my phone because that would just would have been easier, but now I only have one hand to do things with. Hold on, let me try something. I figured it out! Both hands now! Okay. So, is, you just need to check and see if it's squishy. Can you squish it through the bag? Yep. And when it is soft, and you can feel that it has a little bit of warmth to it through the plastic, that's perfect. Because you just need enough heat in the mouse to trick the animal into thinking that it's still alive, that it still has some body heat. There we go. Let's go do this. Okay. Let's... 
turn off the heat lamp for now. Take the top off. Oh, he needs a bit of a misting too. I'll do that after. I'm going to open up the bag. I can't do this with one hand. I'm just going to... Eh. Aha! Persevere! I'm going to open up the bag. Yeah, I can grab the tail from this angle. Knock, knock. It's time for lunch. Hello? How are you? You're so cute. So, a bit of an update. I've had him for almost a month now. That's pretty exciting. He's so pissed off right now. I'm sorry. He shed twice in two weeks. The first shed was in a couple different pieces, but the second shed was completely one piece. Like, there was nothing missing. It was the head, the tail, everything. It was all in one solid snake shape, and it was perfect. It was really satisfying to play with. There was no other better way to say that. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Let's feed him now. And yes, I'm using barbecue tongs. This is the only thing I could find. Like, all of my local pet stores, they don't sell feeding tongs, which I think is so dumb. You can see the reflection of my little paint palette in the cage. I've been doing a lot of art stuff recently. But, like, the store where I get the mice from to feed him... Like, they sell snakes, they sell cages, they sell substrate and all that stuff, and they sell mice and all that, but they don't sell feeding tongs. So this is the best I could do. I'm probably freaking them out by waving these in front of them. I'm sorry. There we go. If you've ever wondered what a dead mouse looks like, that's it. Are you hungry? Look what I've got for you. It's food. Yum. It's your feeding day. I know that you're hungry. You can't see him. Ooh. Come on. I know that you want it. Come on. Good boy. Get it. Oh! That startled me a little bit. That made me jump. <laughs> okay. There we go. I'm going to leave him alone to finish his meal. I'm not going to record him eating. There goes the bag. I'm just going to leave him alone so that we don't stress him out. I'm going to leave his hide out of the cage for a bit so he has some time to wander and get some direct light from his heat lamp on him. And then once, like this is the perfect opportunity to clean it. Once I've cleaned it, sanitized it, I'll, and like once he's finished eating, I'll put it back in. And he can go back to being an introverted little grumpy butt. Just like his mom. There we go. Thanks for watching.